All right, guys. So we're out here shooting, and uh, this is the um, the Taylor Ruger VLE 1022. And uh, we just did some shooting at 300 yards to got it, get it all sighted in. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be t uh, doing some lethality tests. So what I've got here is I've got a roast that uh, has gone bad. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be shooting this this roast at 300 yards. So I'm gonna run it back over to, by the gun. And I'm going to wrap it in four layers of denim to, to simulate heavy clothing. And we're going to duct tape it all together and then we're going to see how much penetration this will get. Um, I think what we're going to do is be shooting it straight through this way. And so that's about like five inches of, five inches of meat right there um, that we're going to be shooting through of, you know, fat and, fat and uh, roast. And then we're going to be doing eight layers of denim. So we want to just check and see how lethal... Uh, the 22 round is particularly these velocitors, these CCI velocitors at uh, at 400 or at uh, 300 yards. So we're gonna we're gonna run it back down there, get it all set up, and then we're gonna shoot it, and we'll show you the results. All right, this is our uh, 300 yard package O meat. Turn it to the side so they can see how we've got it. We've got it uh, sideways in there. So we're gonna run it out to 300 yards. And we're gonna stick it up. So okay, guys, I wanted to show you uh, on my uh, Motorola X2 droid. I wanted to show you this uh, <clears throat> this ballistics table that I worked up for the uh, the velocitor. So I'm I'm guessing that the velocity has is around two or 1,400 feet per second. My ballistic coefficient's kind of a guess. I looked up a couple different sources, but I could never find the official ballistics uh, coefficient for the velocitor itself. Anyone knows that? Roll that into the comments, but. Um, it's zeroed at 100 yards, and this is the ballistics uh, table there for the velocitor. We've been shooting at 300 yards, so I was using. Whoop. We've been shooting at 300 yards, so I was using uh, 30 minutes of uh, 30, 30 MOA, 30 minutes of angle, and that was putting us right on the middle of the gong. So we're going to go ahead and dial in another 20 MOA. And we're going to shoot. We're going to take it out to 400 yards and see it, how far it does. But uh, in the meantime, Danny's taking our uh, our package O meat out there to the gong, and he's going to be setting that up so we can shoot that and check out the lethality at uh, 300 yards with the uh, with the CCI velocitors and 22 rifle. Okay. Okay. Drop the minute here. Left. 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 <laughs> Wind's playing with us a little bit. If you guys don't, if you guys don't understand, um, a 10 mile an hour wind at 300 yards will give you 55 inches of drift. So, if we're playing with the wind a little bit, that's that's part of the reason. So, okay, you hit it. Uh, left All right, let's dissect this meat. This is the uh, bag of meat. All right, so this is the back of it. See anything different? <laughs> we have a few full penetrations. These yeah. here on the edge are probably not full penetrations. Full, but here we have one that's uh, pretty close to the center. It's probably. 
this one here. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, you know what? No, what oh, a, no. One of these two. Yeah. We have a fairly center of mass <clears throat> penetration here that's yep. full penetration. So. And, and got to keep in mind, guys, this is 300 yards. So let's open it up and see see what we got going on. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Use spider co. Well, I don't know spider co, but you can use the. Trimmer's doing its work today. Okay, this is the back of the roast that we're opening up here now. So let's see. There's a hole right there. Can you see the exit? Here's a, Here's a chunk of something. A, oh, is there's that? a chunk of bullet right there. That's on the back side of it. <laughs> show that show that bullet again. Okay. Look how deformed that thing is. That's at 300 yards. Okay, look at that piece of lead there. That doesn't look like the shape of a bullet, does it? It looks like a expanded hollow point. 300 yards. Okay. And how far do you think this meat... Here, turn it over so they can get a good look at it. We're looking at probably four inches of pretty compacted meat. Don't you say? Yeah. So about four inches of roast. And that uh, was sitting on the outside of the meat there. Look at that. Couple chunks of couple uh, wound channels there. Right there. And right there. And then you can see where it's penetrated a bit further there. Which side's the back side of the meat again? So this is the back side of the meat. So you can see that it hadn't quite opened up as much here or here. Well, I don't know. But you can see there, there's some definite, let me see if I can get out of the shadow here. Make sure I'm out of the shadow. There's definitely some expansion there. You can see that that wound channel is pretty good size. It's definitely a kill shot. Okay. So that's the back side, right? This is the back side. And this is partially frozen in the center, isn't it? Yes. Still partially frozen there. It's it's pliable, but it's that's all wound. Look at that, guys. That's wound coming out of there. From that expanded hollow point there. And that's the wound channel. Now is that towards the front or the back of it? It's towards the front. That's towards the front. So there's your entrance. Right there. And this is the front part of the meat here. How sharp is that tenacious, or is that tremor? It's very sharp. Oh yeah. Is that part or is that artery? That's artery. Some bullet tracks. Yep. 
right there. And you can see, see when he works the meat apart a little bit, you can see how much further expanded that is. It's they've shrunk back down. Stick your finger in that, Danny. Like you can almost get your entire finger right through there without having to push it or force it through. So the meat has been has been torn and expanded. Almost get your finger in it. There's some lead frag. Lead fragment? Yep. So any other bullet capture besides that one? No. Nope. Full penetration so, for the rest. Okay, so we're talking full penetration through four inches of meat and eight layers of denim, but actually not eight layers of denim. Sixteen layers. Sixteen layers of denim. Because the front it was we doubled it up. We taped it closed in the back. So at 300 yards, we shot a CCI Velocitor, 300, 300 yards, penetrated 16 layers of denim, 4 inches of meat that, were par that was partially frozen in the center on a roast. This isn't chicken or anything like this, this is, this is red cow. That's pretty good. What would you say about the lethality of that? I wouldn't want to get hit by it. No doubt. So, people that think that the 22 is not capable, is not a capable round is... Uh, doesn't know really what they're talking about, do they? Now, you got to consider that if we hit a rib or something like that, we could get deflection or we could get quite a bit less penetration, if penetration at all. You also could carry some bone fragment into a, a vital organ also. Yep, yep. So, I mean, is, is that a lethal shot through a leg muscle? No. No, uh-uh. But definitely but if you hit an artery, center mass body cavity. You know, if you... If you chest uh, cavity, that, you're not going to like that. No, no, no. I mean, we're talking. Show that fragment again. Here, look at this, guys. This is this is a uh, this went through. Did we did we find it underneath the denim? Yes. On the backside. So that went through four layers of denim. Eight layers of or, denim. No. Four layers in the front. Four 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 uh, inches of meat, and then lodged underneath the denim on the backside. Yes. Yeah. So only only four layers of denim. But look at look at the expansion of that. If that went into your lung. You're not having a good day at all, at all. So that's pretty. That's pretty conclusive. I would say that a 22 long rifle at 300 yards is more than lethal, especially with that kind of an expansion. Are we talking? I mean, if we laid out some more meat, I bet you we'd get maybe six inches, six seven inches of penetration in the meat. Maybe. I think we'd get more than that. Very possible. Yeah, we could. We could get maybe even up to eight, eight or nine inches, even ten inches. Granted, we don't have an equipment failure, so that we, we did have an equipment we can failure. Stay on target. So this is what we're going to get. We had a scope failure, so we don't get to shoot any more at it. But the other the other thing to consider is if we were to shoot um, like a solid lead nose or something like that into something that's not going to uh, expand and expel its energy f uh, as fast, we're going to get a much deeper penetration. So with solids, copper solids or something like that, we could have shot a foot foot into meat at that range you Possibly. know yep so all right guys well um anyway let's get some uh let's get some discussion rolling into the uh, comments and uh let's see what you guys think about this uh, this lethality test at uh, 300 yards um like i said before i had uh read a i had read a guy's blog uh, a while back that had done this with a frozen turkey and it did the exact same thing went through 16 layers of denim or eight layers of denim, and uh, and penetrated the entire bird. So this is a reproduction of that test on video. And uh, now we're going to go barbecue. <laughs> Good eating. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.